Hey guys, this is Jake with American Clicker Press. Um, here we're gonna go over an overview of the manual traveling head machine. This one has a pinch roller attachment. So this is gonna be different than our pinch roller traveling head. Our pinch roller traveling head has pinch rollers on it with a PLC so that there's automatic advancement of your cutting material. What that means is the machine's gonna go make its compressions and sidestep, then it will advance, then it will make its compressions and sidestep. This one is just like most other traveling heads you've probably worked with. It's just a manual machine. It's all operator based. There are a couple of features we've built into it. One is that pinch roller system that is advanced and retracted with a foot pedal. And the machine will do a compression. And once it's done the compression, the head will move out of the way so you can access your materials. If you configure the sidestep properly, you can kind of use it like an automatic sidestep machine. That's not its intended use, but you can kind of game it a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and start by turning the machine on and I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. So now you've heard the machine come up to speed. That's how you know that it's ready for a compression. We're gonna go ahead and start with a mold setting on it. Then we'll do a compression and I'll show you that sidestep feature. So to do our mold setting, I'm going to start with a 2x4. You'll place that here. This is a surrogate for your cutting die and your material. Typically, you will place your material down, you'll place your cutting die over the top of it, and you'll do the mold setting. That's done by moving the head until it's over your cutting die. You'll loosen up this knob. And after the knob is loosened, you can then turn it into mold setting mode. And I will show you a panel of that in the, in the manual. So you'll turn it to mold setting. This has it lower the head. Then you'll turn this crank until it's tight, come out of mold setting. And now when you do a compression, it's gonna go to that distance and return. If you don't want continuous hits, simply let off the button, do the hits. Now the sidestep feature is based off of your last direction. So we move the, the head this way and we do a compression over here. And it's gonna automatically move out of the way. This, uh, this will be a little tricky to get used to at first, but it's gonna go opposite of the direction you're going because it's anticipating that you're gonna do a cut move over to the side, cut it, and it wants to move the head out of the way so you can access it. If you need to make sure that the machine cuts deeper or shallower, on the side here, there's gonna be a knob. You'll turn that knob, you'll turn that dial to make the head go deeper or shallower depending on the cutting depth that you need. For the head traverse, for that side step movement, you can control how far that goes with this top dial here that will determine how far out of the way it moves. So I'll turn it all the way down to just a hair. We'll move it over a little bit and it's gonna go this way just a little bit. Just a hair. If I want it to go a lot further, I can turn it up, I can move it over, it's gonna do a compression and then it's gonna go that way. So that's after turning the dial way up. It's, it's usually not necessary to do that, but if you're dealing with a wider format material and you need to be able to get that out of the way, that's where that would be useful. The next, uh, the next modes you have are manual or automatic. The manual just turns off that traverse. So all that is, is now you'll just move it hand with your buttons. You turn off that traverse so it's not moving side to side on you. Sometimes that's a feature that's not super useful. Oil pump motor on and off. We've already talked about that. That's how you turn the machine on. The return height. This is how you determine how high the machine goes after a compression. So we'll do a compression. And the head stays down low. I told it not to go up any, anywhere. Now I'll turn the return height all the way up. And after a compression, it goes up. So the return height is simply meant to make it so that you can make it go halfway up, do a compression, side step, side step, 
science stuff. And then you would come in and you'd access all your material. You'll get very familiar with this process. It's a manual traveling head, so all of those directions are given by the operator with these buttons that are on the side. If you need something that's automated, something that you just set and forget, you press the button, you say go, it does the cuts, advances the material, does the cuts, and you don't touch it, you'll be looking at a pinch roll automated traveling head or a conveyor automated traveling head or a sheet feed automated traveling head, depending on what type of material you're working with. This machine did come with the pinch roller system, and, that, and that's what we were talking about earlier. It's an upgrade to the manual one. So on the pinch roller, you're gonna actuate that with a pedal. This pedal has the left and right to be able to advance or retract. Right now, that pinch roller speed is set really low. If we turn that speed up, significantly, you'll see you can tailor that to how far you need it to go. So what that looks like from an operator standpoint is you're going to do a cut, move, move, and then you'll move your material forward or backwards, depending on which way you're going. With the pedals, it'll come out of the way and you'll do another set. So you'll just manually sit here and do the cuts and use your pedal in order to advance the material back and forth. Those pinch rollers are open and closed with a pneumatic system, so you will need to have a, a pneumatic system. Oh, sorry, these are the manual ones. So you'll simply just use these levers to open it. The pneumatic system is available also. If you have questions about this machine, operation, maintenance, uh, application, feel free to call in. Uh, our service team will be able to walk you through the maintenance schedule. If you have an application and you're not sure what type of traveling head you need, call in, tell us what your material is, what your production rate is, right? You may, you may have 25,000 cuts or you may have 250,000 cuts. Those are gonna make a big difference with what machine we recommend. The other thing is you have to decide what the value of the labor is. If you can set it and have it do its own cuts through entire rolls of material and you're a one man job, or maybe you're a company that wants to be able to keep the safety standards of your company, it's sometimes better to have an automated machine that doesn't have people with hands on it all the time. Feel free to ask about that. We're willing to walk you through that. This again was the manual traveling head with pinch rollers. If you want to uh, explore more, feel free to look up our other traveling heads for the pinch roller or the conveyor or the sheet feed, and we'll do a good explanation of how those work also. Thank you.